And now let's see what else we have here. Um, range is pretty cool. So I'm going to, for this one actually, uh, start with a clip that looks like this. So we're just going to do a little staircase. And for whatever reason, the velocities are all really low on these, and I don't know why. Okay. So what does it sound like? Kind of, <laughs> kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Let's uh, go on that. Uh, so the idea behind this range is basically like, uh, this one came actually from me being frustrated in situations where you generate some pattern and you're sending the uh, MIDI to a drum rack and the drum rack's sounds are not on the same notes that your pattern is on. And so then you have to like figure out how to make it fit. Um, so in the most basic case, uh, you can, you know, just shift all of them uh, pretty easily like that. You can also do things like stretch them. So if I take the high value here and I stretch, I'm just going to be stretching the pattern out over more space or less space. You can kind of compress it. We also have these other modes like wrap. So this one will kind of do what it says. As we, if we go back to the default, we have the original pattern, but as I bring this high down, we're creating this kind of, uh, where basically the ramp fits into a smaller space. And so then we just do two ramps instead or three or whatever, whatever is needed to fit. And you can either come down from the top here like this, or you can come up from the bottom or both. Similarly, we have a fold option, which is just like the wrap, except we you know, we kind of do this triangle shape going back and forth. And then similarly, we have a clip, which takes that maximum and minimum and just clamps there. We also have this shaper. So after you've performed whatever transformation you're performing here on the left hand side, uh, then you can use this function that uh, you've seen in many of my devices if you've used them before where we can kind of get these different shapes from the, um, from the values. And we can also flip it. So you have this exact same um, interface for velocity uh, chance and pitch. And that's what that device does. I think it's really useful for all kinds of purposes. Um, you know, as you know, if you've been watching these videos, I'm just very interested in the idea of how do we take an idea and generate variations on it so that it can be used within a composition to make the process of getting from one really cool idea to one really great piece of music easier. Um, and this is just one of those handy utilities that I think makes that process much easier. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is one that 